Here's sample test four, problem number six. A 100 millihenry inductor is connected in series with a 500 ohm resistor, a 100 microfarad capacitor, and a 50 hertz 100 volt RMS source. Find the RMS current in the circuit. So we basically have to do everything we did in the last problem for this part A. Well, the first thing, omega is 2 pi times the frequency. And that's going to be 2 pi times 50 hertz, which will be 100 pi, or 314 radians per second. Hence, our capacitive reactance, which is 1 over omega times C, it's going to be 1 over 314 times 100 microfarads. And that's going to be equal to 31.85 ohms. Our inductive reactance will be omega times L. And that's going to be 314 times our inductance, which is 100 millihenries or 0.1 henries, and that's going to be 31.4 ohms. So our net reactance, which is our inductive reactance minus our capacitive reactance, is 31.4 minus 31.85, or a negative 0.45 ohms. Not very much net reactance almost all the circuit is resistance. So our impedance is the resistance squared plus the net reactance squared square root. And that's going to be 500 ohms squared plus a negative 0.45 ohms squared square root. And if you calculate all that, it will come out to 500 ohms. So our impedance is basically our resistance because the two reactances are equal in magnitude. They are sharing energy back and forth. We call this situation resonance. This is a resonant circuit as, we're, as this is going on. So our RMS current is our RMS voltage divided by the impedance. So that is going to be 100 volts, which was given to us. Divide by 500 ohms, or 0.2 amps, root mean square. So that is our root mean square current. That's our answer to part A. Part B, what does the voltage drop across the inductor? We use the RMS current. Well, the voltage drop across the inductor is indeed the RMS current times the inductive reactance like an Ohm's Law relationship if you, if you look at it that way. 0.2 times our inductive reactance which was 31.4 is going to be 6.28 volts. That is our inductive voltage or the voltage across the inductor. C, voltage across the capacitor is the RMS current times the capacitive reactance, which will be 0.2 times 31.85, which will be 6.37 volts. So that is the voltage across the capacitor. And the power dissipated in the circuit Power dissipated in any AC circuit like this will be the RMS current squared times the resistance in the circuit because the resistor is the only thing in the circuit that is dissipating energy, not the other elements. They're storing energy and giving it back. So it's not times the impedance, it is times the resistance. And we have 0.2 amps squared times the resistance of 500 ohms and that is equal to 20 watts 20 joules per second 20 watts of power dissipated in the circuit due to 
to the resistance in the circuit. So there we have it, another circuit, straightforward with uh, little formulas, and um, that's, that's what you need to know for these AC circuits.